Good evening, I'm Brandon Johansson. Here's what's happening tonight in Kern County. A BPD patrol car involved in a crash earlier today. That crash happened on Monterey and Tulare streets at around 3 this afternoon. According to Bakersfield Police, the patrol car collided with a truck and a parked car. The two officers were unharmed who were inside. Now, the passenger of the truck, meanwhile, was taken to a local hospital with minor injuries. BPD says the officers were responding to reports of a shooting over on Nile Street when that crash occurred. And the department says that they did have their lights and sirens on. Officers did find evidence of a shooting over on Nile Street near Miller Street, but no victim was located. Next, an update to a stolen vehicle story for you. 60-year-old Bernardos Gray was leaving his home on Quincy Street uh, yesterday morning at around 4.15 on Friday when things took an unexpected turn for the worst. He says he got out to lock his gate when he was jumped. Gray tried to stop him, but as he tried to put the truck in park, the man drove away, dragging Bernardos. This morning, Bernardos told 23ABC that a viewer messaged him informing him that that truck was abandoned at Gargano Street near Pioneer Drive. His keys and his tools were stolen, but his truck is in good condition. He adds that another viewer donated $100 to him to have his locks in his home changed. And finally, Home Depot teamed up with the Gary Sinise Foundation to remodel the backyard and build a kid's jungle gym for a local veteran. Josh Drew, uh, Brubaker rather, served in the Marines from 2010 through 2015 and was deployed to Afghanistan back in 2012. He was injured during a mission and says that the remodeling of his backyard to the specifically adapted smart home will help him and his family. Now here's Leah Pizzetti with look at your forecast. Brandon, Saturday brought the heat with a high of 100 degrees in Bakersfield. Air quality in the unhealthy for sensitive groups range. For Sunday, we are looking at an improvement for our air quality. We're expecting an AQI of 100. That's in the moderate range, but right on the edge of the unhealthy for sensitive groups range. Temperature is starting to cool down. We're looking at 96 degrees in Bakersfield. Our southern mountains hanging out in those mid 80s. And then our Kern River Valley in those upper 80s, breaking through those 90s. Lake Isabella looking at 96 degrees. And then our desert communities, we are breaking through those triple digits and this is just the beginning of our cool down. We are expecting an even bigger cool down headed our way next week. All right. Thanks, Leah, and thank you for joining us. Have a good night.